we are going for our fourth day of hacking the funnels. But this is the thing, you cannot have a successful funnel if what? You don't know where to share your free lead magnet, whether it's an opt-in freebie or it's an opt-in page for a webinar, a workshop, anything that you are inviting somebody to opt in. So what I wanted Amy to do today, and we are so fortunate because literally Amy went for a run right before and was like, I have to run back and teach. <laughs> Amy works with me. I'm so fortunate. She helps with me with my Instagram, social media. She is a social media strategist and content, does content for a lot of different people, health coaches, entrepreneurs. And so I'm very blessed that she also teaches these mini classes. So today she is going to jam on where to rock out your opt-in freebie. So hit it, Amy. You want to introduce yourself also? But you just did a great job better than I could do. So <laughs> all she said. Your fingers, your fingers, Amy. <laughs> yeah. All you said, that's good. Yeah, so I'm going to share um, my presentation. So I'm just going to share my screen here. And I'm going to just, I'm also going to like hide myself just so it can really show such a good, there you go. Sure. You can see that? Yeah. We are good to go. Perfect. All right. So I'm just going to go over today just the where you should be posting your opt-in freebies. So Rachel puts together these incredible freebies inside her program um, with the pages that you need and the emails and everything that you need. So once you get all that set up, you're then left with where, where do we post them? What am I going to do now? So I'm going to go over the best places that you can do that on social media and just in general. So here's the main topics that we're going to cover. So how to use your opt-in freebie on your website, um, posting on your blog and how you can do that. Then Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube. Now we could go into great depth with each one of them, but we're just kind of going to touch on each one of them so you have some ideas. So what is the importance of having your opt-in freebie? So you need to grow your email list and growing your email list is extremely important because it's essential for your business to be successful. And that's because it's the only form of marketing that you have 100% control over. So people who are on your email list are people who are already interested in what you're offering and they're likely to buy programs and more from you down the line. And you can nurture the relationships and build strong relationships with your ideal client because they're sitting there waiting for you to communicate with them. Your opt-in freebie can also be the gateway to your program. Um, so if they're on the same topic, then you can have your freebie and then open them up into the program. So it creates your warm market so you're not just bombarding people with sales. But when you give somebody value for free, they come back to you for more. So let's start with your website. This is the first place that you can post your opt-in freebie. So I have just a couple of screenshots from my website here um, just to show you how you can do this. Now, if you're not great with WordPress or Squarespace or wherever it is you have your website built, there's lots of different ways that you can do that. You can find somebody who knows it, get a friend, um, sit there and kind of tweak and figure it out, um, watch some YouTube videos, but you can definitely put your opt-in freebies on your website. So. As Rachel does on her website, she actually has it pop right up, her programs, but you can have that pop up be your opt-in freebie. So the first thing before they can move on to anything else on your website is they see what you're offering. Um, you can also put the opt-in freebie as a little box on your website, which is what I have right here. So you can see that I kind of pull on a pain point struggling with your email list. I'll get access to my nine tips for getting virtually boss with your email list. So if you put your name and email in here, click submit, then I just send you your freebie right to your email. Um, or you can have it right up in your menu bar where I also have another one of my freebies listed. So you just have to click the button and have it sent to you. Um, again, if you're not great with making changes on your website and you don't want your website to crash, I wouldn't recommend making them, but getting somebody to do it for you. Um, but if you are good at working on your own website, then definitely add them there because if you're driving traffic to your website, then you want to make sure that they're getting on your list. The next place that you can show your, your opt-in freebies is on your blog. So I have a couple of examples here from Rachel's most recent blog on her website. You can add it to your blog in a couple of ways. One, you can hyperlink in the body of your email, which you can see here. So Rachel adds this PS, sign up for your webinar here and get the bonus training videos. 
So this is a hyperlink that's going to take you to the page to sign up. Give me one second. And you know what? This is the other thing I wanted to add. Sorry, Amy, I was just mm -hmm. taking That's okay. pictures of you going through this. Is that too often, guys, and Amy and I talk about this because Amy teaches in our membership. So if you're at that place where you're like, ah, uh, I've spent lots of money, uh, you know, I have all these programs and I just feel really stuck as far as how to use social media, even if it's for your one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe your goal is to get people to your one-on-one. -on -one. Or your goal is to what I call the combination method because you want to and you know you have to use the combination method to get to your 60, 80, 100 unless you're doing a higher ticket one-on-one. -on -one. Or that you're doing retreats where you're doing some of these higher masterminds. The thing is, if you are not understanding the power of list building and how to use what we call healthy real estate, which is this blog, your blogs, there's only so many times that you can, you know, depend on, and, and Amy just taught about this last week in our membership, which is at yourhealthcoachbiz.com, when Amy talked about the IG feed and the constant change of algorithms, everyone's like, my post isn't being seen. My post isn't being seen. Well, instead, we don't cry the blues. We just learn how to change with the changing times. So you want to always look at a blog, no matter whether IG or Facebook or anything, because this blog can be on Pinterest with an image. LinkedIn. This blog can be shared on Dig, Tumblr, anywhere. This blog can also be like Amy and I talk about an eight minute video with a YouTube thumbnail that you make in Canva. And it can be like, hey, <laughs> check out this blog. And on that blog, you have your call to action. Hey, download this freebie or, you know, download this freebie and PPPS, come to this group and get this, you know, get a five day um, thyroid weight loss, like the brand new freebies that we have. Your blog becomes it's like a sales page. It's a mini sales page. So if you're not optimizing your blogs, you're not utilizing social media. What I will say, the spoiler alert, is that people always think just if you put opt-in freebies on the front of your site that people arrive. Or they think that <laughs> they think that just because you somebody has optimized your or you that you've bought an SEO package, that's not true, guys. The truth is this, you have to put either recipes or videos, you have to work your social media. Your social media does not just work for you. And that's what Amy teaches all the time, the hashtags, rotating your hashtags on Instagram and your opt-in freebies. Like you have to know, and this is the testing part that sometimes people get frustrated and then they give up. This is why we've been talking about the different formats of list building and learning how to really utilize them so people, what, build that like, no and trust factor. So just wanted to add that in, Amy, because I think a lot of us get jaded and Jack thinking that it just like miraculously works and, yeah. and then we give up. Yeah, that's very true. Um, it does take a lot of work, but it is worth it when you put in the time to actually um, follow the what's working, follow the algorithm, learn the algorithms. Um, so yeah, with your blog, this is one of the best ways that you can actually um, utilize your, your opt-in freebies. So they're already there reading because you're offering them some sort of solution to a pain point. But then at the end, you're like, if you love this, you should sign up for this. Or if you love this, let me send you this. Um, so you're getting them to read your blog, which then is getting them on your list. And your blog is something that you can share everywhere. You can share it on your LinkedIn, you can share the blog post on your Facebook, you can share it on your Instagram, which I'll go over how to do all that as well. <laughs> um, there's so many different places you can share your blog and it doesn't come off as being salesy or pushy because you're, they're learning something from you, but at the same time, you're like, here, I'm gonna give you this as well. Um, so yeah, and you can share that blog, as I said, across all your social platforms. So it's not just enough to write the blog, say, yes, I have a blog on my website. Nobody's going to see it if you don't share it. 
Okay, and there we go, switching slides. <laughs> Number three, Instagram. Instagram is a place that I spend a lot of time um, inside of Rachel's membership. I go into more detail about Instagram, but I'm just gonna kind of touch on a couple of the things here. Um, so when you're using your opt-in freebie on Instagram, you do have one spot on your Instagram profile where you can put a link and that's right here where I have the arrow pointing. Oh, it's kind of in the wrong spot. That's okay. You get the gist. Um, so it's supposed to be pointing at the, the website address there. So that's the one place that you can put an active link on Instagram. Um, so there's lots of different ways that you can use this spot but it's a very important piece of real estate on your, your Instagram account. Um, you can just put the link for your opt-in freebie there. If that's the only thing you want people to see, you want to make sure you're putting that there. Um, oh, I switched slides. There we go. So you can change the link as often as you like. There's no rule saying you have, you can only change it once every seven days or once every 30 days or, um, anything like that. Does it help if I make my screen bigger? <laughs> um, and then you can also consider creating something called a link tree. Now I'll go into more detail about how to optimize your link tree and build a link tree inside of the membership probably in the next couple of weeks. Um, but creating a link tree so you can have multiple links. Um, you can have your website, which will have your opt-ins on it. You can have your blog, which has your opt-ins on it, or you can just have your opt-in link there as well. So it's one link that allows you to add numerous links to it so you can have lots of different ways and then in order to use that in your Instagram post you can say you can create a post and then you always add in something that says link in bio so you can't have an active um, link inside of your Instagram caption but you can reference them back to your bio so tell them everything they need to know inside the post and then stars link in bio right or see the link in my profile or download in my profile, however it is you want to word it. But that's where you can go to use that link. And that's the best way to utilize that link is to make sure that whatever it is you're pushing is right there at that time. Next. And also, oh, go ahead. Amy, uh, yeah. also, I think the biggest thing, guys, for those of you, um, we're talking about list building, but always remember, and I keep saying this, list building is not just like, buy this program. Like we see that all the time. Amy and I are like, uh, you know, or we'll be like, join this program. List building or a building authority or list building, even when you're on your link tree, you want to think of list building as dating. So it's what do you, or even as a phone conversation, you know, like, Hey, how are you doing? What do you now need to get to know about me in the digital space? And this is where I know a lot of coaches get like this analysis paralysis, get stuck. You want to reverse engineer into what are the biggest pain points and don't just say, I want someone to feel great. That's not a pain point. If you are a hormone coach, think of, is it weight? Is it sleep? Is it hair falling out? Is it cold hands and feet? Is it skin issues? I mean, even this week, I was like, oh, good Lord, thyroid's a hot mess. I'm going to try skin. You know, if you're a digestive wellness expert, you know, start having freebies or even a link to a page that has a pre recorded, you know, webinar that you've done. Or maybe it's an opt in page where it's like, opt in, get my 10 foods that repair the gut, like the freebie that we have. And then also have a low pre recorded webinar. Um, you don't have to get into deadline funnel or click funnels or webinar jam or a lot of these platforms that Amy, myself, many of our team members and Amy's worked on many teams. We see the overhead killing people, killing businesses, killing new entrepreneurs, sole entrepreneurs, instead of you guys spending the money to have somebody like a virtual assistant, help you connect the PayPal to your automation. But really sit there and think, instead of spending so much on platforms, sit there and say, am I really thinking about my list going strategy so that it converts? Because if you're not sitting there and saying, and you're just putting up like, this is a great quote, love is all you need. But if I just see love is all you need, love is all you need, love is all you need, and it's not converting, 
and it's not helping you to build authority and it's not getting somebody to say, wow, like this person really dropped 10 unbelievable tips on how to go toxin free and that they were endocrine disruptors. And I didn't even know this one food was really messing up my hormones. And she taught me about this sunscreen that I've been searching for. I was talking about today that when my kids were young, I was so obsessed with finding the sunscreen that didn't make them look like they just came off of Baywatch and that they were, or even for myself, you know, the all white. So think about the tips and then take that and use this in your list building strategy. Sorry about that, Amy. Just wanted to add in a few tips. Yeah, don't worry. You're welcome to jump in anytime. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a lot of ways that you can use it on your Instagram. And again, with Rachel's program, she includes all these beautiful images that she's made, which makes it super easy for you to post them onto your Instagram. So set up the link in the profile with the page that she gives you and the images that she uses you, gives you, and you're all set. Um, so then next, oh, is it gonna let me, there we go, um, is your Facebook. So a lot of us do spend a lot of time on Facebook, but Facebook isn't just for connecting with friends and family, but it can also be used for marketing your business. So these are just a few of the ways that you can use your opt-in freebie on Facebook. So you can actually create a Facebook post using just the link you created for your signup page. So explain exactly what it is that you're offering or what they'll be getting and then add the link. Use one of the images that you've made or that Rachel's given you. Um, you can actually post your blog that you've added your opt-in freebie to, which gives them not only um, the blog to read, but it also gives them the opt-in freebie as well. Um, you can share on your personal page, your business page, and in Facebook groups where rules allow. So if you do a search on Facebook under groups, you can actually go ahead and you can find groups that are related to your niche or related to where it is that you're wanting to market. Read over the group rules. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Let me say just one thing, guys, about personal pages, because um, you will see somebody make a post and they will comment under, like, hey, if you really like this, I, I see more often, and I'm sure Amy can attest to this, if somebody does a live and they're giving high value, they'll actually say like, hey, if you really like this, you know, check this out. But it's usually a link to a blog because Facebook does not like, which is why you're seeing so many changes, this buy, buy, buy. They want it to be a social network, educational, informative. You will also see, and one of my favorites is make your you know, cover photo, hey, you know, click here and put a click here button, click here to grab this freebie bundle or head over to my business page and grab this or in your Facebook profile, instead of putting pictures of your awesome, adorable family, you can go over to mine and you see like doors are open, <laughs> this big picture and that can be a clickable right there. So make sure that when you're looking at your real estate, of your personal people always say oh I don't know what to do if I hit your about me and I don't have some clickable right there you're not optimizing and thinking as an entrepreneur in your health and wellness business that's it Amy. yeah no worries um, yeah everything on from your Instagram to your Pinterest to your Facebook to your YouTube it's really valuable real estate so you want to make sure that you're stepping back and taking a look at it from a business point of view and really thinking what can I do here to optimize this space to grow my business um, so yeah one of the greatest ways that you can share on Facebook without getting too in the face of your family and friends if that's what you're really worried about is through Facebook groups there's a lot of public groups out there that do allow you to share your blogs um, if you're adding some sort of value and again you put your opt-in freebie in those blogs so you're still sharing it, but indirectly. Um, so that's a really great way to share on Facebook. And then again, you have really great friends. <laughs> you can ask your friends to share your posts. You can ask your friends to share what you're offering and then direct people to your page or direct them to your business page or however it is. But you can yeah, have your friends. Giveaway. Like that's the thing that you and I always talk about, guys, like my favorite giveaways are putting like, give away a program. Like my favorite time to list build is summer and December. Because December, nothing happens except for, well, I did pay it forwards, again, list building, um, donation, pay it forwards. 
Um, but you can do a giveaway and Facebook loves that because you're like, tag a friend, let's mm -hmm. have community or, you know, have everyone's a winner. So think about your strategies. Don't just think, oh my God, I have to sell this program. Nobody's opting into this. It's a different world these days. Make it community fun and, you know, have kind of a, an event where people are tagging under and they've got to do some kind of interactive thing and you can yeah. get any one of the freebies and make it a little day challenge and give a prize. Exactly. And you can also have people go from platform to platform when you're doing that. So you start on Facebook and you're like tag three friends and get one entry into the draw. Okay. They tag 12. So they get four entries into the draw. Well, bonus entry. If you go and follow me on Instagram, and bonus entry again if you follow my business page. So then you're getting them at every angle every time you post. Um, so there's lots of ways that you can use Facebook and how you can like intertwine all the different social media platforms together. You just have to, and if you do a Google search or you just um, check out some influencers or people who have big followings, just take a look and see what they're doing. How are they getting these followers? How are they? managing to grow their audiences as quick as they are and their list as quick as they are because they're doing things like this and you can always look at what they're doing and copy it for your business. That doesn't mean like steal their exact contest, but look at how they're running their contest and then run your own with your own programs. Like no stealing, bad karma. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go out and do, I'm doing a $50 Amazon Fire. gift card. Don't steal. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Like, especially you don't want to go out there and like, steal and then have the same people tagged as well because everyone's going to see it and then it's not original and you want to make sure you're giving value that's created by you. Um, so next is Pinterest. Pinterest is my jam. <laughs> I know what's happening on Pinterest. Um, so I'll just give you a few pointers on Pinterest, but next month in Rachel's membership, we're going to do like an entire month on Pinterest. So entire month on Pinterest. Yeah. I'm, I'm literally there for every class like this. <laughs> so yeah, if you're interested, definitely hook up with Rachel for her membership and um, we'll join in those classes. But for Pinterest, um, it can be super simple, but the main thing you have to think about is why are you ever on Pinterest? What are you doing? Are you on there to talk with your family? Are you on there to talk with your friends? You're not. You're on there because you're doing a search for a recipe or you're doing a search for an outfit. You're using it like you use Google. So with Pinterest, you want to make sure that you're really using keywords. Um, so make sure you're pulling the key things out of your, your opt-in that you want people to be searching for. You know what they're searching for. So first I say create a Pinterest graphic using Canva. Um, if you go inside of Canva, they have free templates already there. Just switch up the words, switch up the picture, switch up the colors, done. Post it to your Pinterest account and create the active link with your freebie as the landing page or your blog or whatever it is you're wanting to promote that's taking them back to your freebie. Best tip I can give you is to create four different graphics with different titles for the exact same thing. Why do I say to do this? Because for me, I'm more attracted to say a picture of a really pretty dish of food. Well, somebody else would be more attracted to a picture of a fit person who say, for example, has eaten those foods and gotten results. And somebody else would be more attracted to the really personal photo of you holding your program, right? So there's lots of different um, tastes when it comes to photos. Almost like different, kind of what, you do, what we talk about in IG, like polarizing. So it's almost like polarizing mm -hmm. down to think about your different avatars and their personality as far as pictures and guys our favorite place always for attribution free pictures i mean one if you have our programs that have pictures of the food i mean oh my goodness gorgeous we also give you so many different pictures but unsplash has amazing unsplash.com has amazing drop dead gorgeous pictures pexels pixabay um, unless you have your own, you know, stock photos that you're buying, but exactly. that's an amazing, I never even thought of that, which is why I can't wait for a class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you can, switch, you can switch up the title too. So see these two titles I have your top five ways to get healthy and five recipes for your homo hormones. 
So the five recipes for your home hormones, I can't say that word today, hormones is more a niche down than five ways to get healthy. So five ways to get healthy will appeal to a larger audience. So you'll get more people seeing your stuff, but then the five recipes for your hormones will get the really niche down. Like this is the program. These are the people that I need on this program. So sorry, Rachel. You just no, you just literally like, this is why I love when we do these things. It like connects the dots. It's like, Oh my goodness. You never even know. And that's a big thing about social media is you never know where somebody is going to want to go because mm -hmm. I go, when I'm looking for, for recipes, I go right away to Pinterest. So on your link tree, boom, you can have that link saying, want to check out my recipes, hop on over to my Pinterest. Exactly. You're, you're just hitting everyone on all these different ways that they process. Yeah, exactly. You are. And one thing that people don't know about Pinterest is that you can actually have public boards and group boards that you can share just like on Facebook groups. There are Pinterest groups as well. And when you utilize these groups, you're actually getting thousands and thousands of eyes on your stuff. And you can find group boards that are specific to your niche and, and post on those group boards. Again, I will teach how to do that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Inside of the membership. All of a sudden, my brain's like, oh my God, wait, I'm not like, it, like actually, <laughs> you're not showering. You're starting on my Pinterest. <laughs> oh, man. Don't shower. <laughs> I know I'll still be red though, but um, yeah. So here's just an example of some images that I did for a client. So you can see they're the exact same. I didn't change the title, exact same program, exact same title, but completely different images. So this image would appeal more to the person who likes the beach, who is more like, oh man, I need to dish the bloat to get into my swimsuit, you know, or someone who's like, a middle-aged woman who is just looking for something fun and something easy. This makes it look like it's fun and easy. Um, and this one over here is more for the, the health nut who's like, oh, I love smoothies. Or um, you're just really into the, the recipes more than, not really the results, but more than the visual appeal of it, right? So these are two completely different people, but the exact same program would appeal to both of them. It's just how you're marketing it. So you're still marketing to your ideal audience, but say Rachel really likes um, pictures of the beach and I really like pictures of the mountains, right? Like they're two, the exact same program. Rachel and I are very similar, but we like different kinds of pictures, different pictures attract us. So we need to keep that in mind. It comes to tight jeans and high heels. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, so as it says here, one is a personal photo and one's a generic photo and they each appeal to a different person. I think that also brings up a big thing guys. And, um, you never, and that's the biggest thing with marketing that we fail to understand. And this is why you hear this term called split test. I have talked about this before with an opt-in freebie I had years ago. And this is when I was really trying to understand what my market wanted when I, almost went back to real estate 80,000 times um, because I was a detox specialist. I went to four schools and I was like, why isn't, why am I not making the money that I was told I would make? And so I took one opt-in freebie and it said like download, you know, 15 detox waters. I, a week later took no, no, at the same time, I'm sorry. I went into Cam, the pick monkey, Canva wasn't around. And I took a cover, it looked jacked up, but I took the cover and I instead said, weight loss waters. I didn't say infused waters, I said weight loss waters. And I put them out at the same time and more people downloaded the weight loss waters. And I even changed the, the thank you letter to say, you know, um, you can lose weight through the power of detoxification because what happens is when there's so many toxins, a person can carry around five to 15 pounds. I had the same thank you, but it just talked, one talked really about detox and one talked about weight loss. And so what I started to find was that when I infused that word weight loss to help somebody understand, and that's when the light bulb went off. And so you have to always remember that you might think a cover looks great or a name is phenomenal, 
but that may not be what your ideal client or that may not be what the mass market, which can sometimes be what's fueling your business until you get really niche down and clear. So just remember that in your marketing efforts that just because, and Amy's I'm sure worked with, I've worked with top brand specialists and marketing teams that were five to $10,000 and Facebook ads companies that promise unicorn poop and rainbows that would shower <laughs> glitter. Um, and they weren't always accurate. And so just remember that you do know your ideal client, especially if this was your own story. But mm -hmm. don't ever disregard what Amy really brought up, which is a really important thing, is that always remember that people will get attracted to something for a very different reason. Thanks exactly. for bringing that up, Amy. Yeah, no worries. Um, so yeah, it's really important on Pinterest, especially, as I said, Pinterest is more of a search engine. It's not, um, it's not a social media platform where you're going to be social with your friends and your family and you're posting pictures of yourself at a party on the weekend or at an event, you know, it's a place where you're going because you need a quick answer to something that you want right then. I need dinner tonight. What am I making? Right. For me, I'm on there. Okay. Healthy slow cooker recipe that I can make right now, which is eight hours before I need to eat dinner because the only time I have to cook supper is at 8 a.m. in the morning, you know, <laughs> like that's why I'm on there because I need that slow cooker, healthy recipe that kids love. There's my keywords I look for, you know, um, so you can do the exact same thing. And again, in the membership, I will be teaching you how to do the SEO. So how to put the keywords, find the keywords for your niche. And then the next one is YouTube. Oh, I thought I said your tube, but it's your YouTube. Okay. <laughs> um, so are you posting your videos to YouTube? Are you posting your little snippets to YouTube, little lives or whatever it is that you're doing? Are you putting them on YouTube? Great. Put your call to action in the video description or caption. So put, you love this. There's more here. You can direct them to your blog or you can have a whole list of links. Your blog, which of course has your list builder, your website, which has your list builder, your list builder itself. There's so or many your different things. Tool page, which exactly could have, uh, you know three different types of list builders. Exactly, and then again, if only if you're good at video editing, <laughs> but don't stress yourself out about this because you don't have to do it. You can add them onto the bottom of your video, like swipe across, like yeah. download this. I'm but not good at that, and this guy, <laughs> please understand. There's certain things that I just said, and I come from a place of perfection. I said, yeah, that's, it's just not my jam. I've tried, I've tried mm -hmm. actually quick time. I, I tried. It, it's not, it's not, it's my, not jam. my jam either. I'll yeah. admit it right up front. I do not like doing video editing. <laughs> <laughs> it is too time consuming and I'd rather just put the link in the comments. <laughs> so yeah, YouTube is a great place, especially if that's where you're doing your marketing, make sure you're not forgetting to put your links there. They need to be there as well. Um, and then that's all the ones that I have for right now. And this is just a little bit about me, but um, when it comes to your opt-in freebies, just be creative. Um, use what you have, remember your real estate that you have, and then just really sit back, take a look at it and be like, when I go to somebody else's Facebook and say, when I go on their Facebook, what do I see? What's the first thing you see? Okay, you see their banner, you see their profile photo, you read a little bit about them on the side. So that's what somebody else is gonna see first when they come to your Facebook. So what do you want them to see? What do you want them to sign up for? How do you wanna use that real estate so that you can utilize the time that they're spending on their page to put them on your list? And still to this day, which is such a great thing, I love that you brought up YouTube. Still to this day, when somebody contacts me, I say, where did you find me? And they're like, you know, I found you on YouTube. Because when you, I always say, look at your own behaviors. When I'm searching for something, recipes, or I want to find out how to do, if, if it's recipes, I'm right at Pinterest. If I want to learn how to do something, I go right to YouTube. And so when people are sitting there Googling, YouTube has the most unbelievable relationship with YouTube. I mean, Google has the most unbelievable yeah. relationship. And so... 
You know, I think that's the part where people feel overwhelmed. But if you sit there and you blog once a week and you video once a week and you take your lives and you're using them and downloading and you really dedicate that time so you don't feel like you're just spinning your wheels, Mm -hmm. then you're smart about it. That's why I always say three opt-in freebies that define the pillars of your business. Mm -hmm. Three workshops that could be lives or webinars or face-to-face. Those should be running. And then you add more to it. What would somebody be searching for on Google? What would somebody be looking for? You know, and it's usually the things, not just like they're at Hashimoto's, they're trying to figure out what is going on even before they get there. Exactly. That was amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. (laughs) Anybody have any questions? Just want to, um, I mean, just exit that. Does anyone have any questions for um, Amy before she jumps off? Everyone's a quiet bunch. I know. I was looking on Facebook too, and I don't see any. Um, All right, ladies. Thank you so much. I will close this out, and I will definitely be chatting with you, and also send me time for tomorrow. Okay. (laughs) I will do. All right. All right. Thanks, Amy. All right, guys, we're going to keep this one short today. Um, Just in conclusion, and this is what I always say, sometimes it's not that you're missing a program in your business. Sometimes it's that you're missing content or you're missing the opt-in freebie or the workshop that you want to do or the paid workshop. So always think about like your list building efforts. I have a lot of coaches who say, I don't know what to do on a live. It's like, take a blog. <laughs> That's the beauty of content. Take a blog, talk about it. Um, so maybe you want to look at our blog package. One of our very successful coaches who created a membership, her name's Katrina. Um, she actually uses our blog package to do her lives. And then she takes that blog and she puts that blog onto, of course, her website. She takes a live, she downloads a live, She uploads that to YouTube, and in the description, she what? Brings people to the blog with a call to action, which is to sign up for the freebie of the month, which she gets from our membership. Um, Some of you might have very niche specific, um, you might be very niche specific, such as adrenal or thyroid or, um, you know, a non-dogmatic approach to eating, or you might be ketogenic. Um, and that's why we do have our niche specific programs, but take the time. And if you don't know what to put together, that's why we're happy to get on the phone with you and figure it out. So there's clarity for you on what to purchase so that it feels right for you. It feels authentic and you don't feel like you're spinning your wheels in creating your signature business, whether it's online, whether it's offline, whether it's in What should I buy for my summit offering? What should I buy as a giveaway? Um, Or, hey, I'm going to be on this podcast. What would be a great, you know, opt-in freebie? Or for those of you who do vendor events, you want to have instead of just, hey, sign up for my newsletter, giving something that is value that really shows a part of how you coach so that what? You have a better conversion so that you build that trust and lead them to what? Working with you. Somebody saying, I'm absolutely new to this group. What membership you mentioned, please. But yeah, let me just, um, let me just show our membership. Take a second to just show you where it would be. And also our programs just in general. So also when you buy, you get access to these summer bonuses like right away. Oops. Um, This is actually our membership. It's called Content in a Box. We have four calls and you also get access to not only a starter kit right when you join, but you get clean eating recipes, you get an entire recipe guide. We change the cover every month, you get four weeks of suggested meals. This is not like the girth of our programs, but this is a great starting place. Or if you are planning to do a membership or maybe you want recipes for shopping tours or for workshops, 
you get four done for you blog post, which I've seen other coaches selling blog posts, done for you blog posts, just $67 for four, four, six of them. We have $67 for the entire membership. Um, so we will change the membership um, each month for a different opt-in freebie. This one was Daily Habits for Endless Energy. Um, this coming one is all about getting off sugar as we go into um, we go into the summer months. Um, and so we always get you always get a recipe book, pantry list, suggested meals, um, blank meal planner. And then you also have bonus access to dashboard, video courses, resource library on social media, IG, um, my copywriter, checklist, templates, done for you social media, done for you content planners, um, how to even create a funnel, launch plans. It's really endless what's in that plus, just an amazing community of people. Um, but this is where we were talking about maybe you're looking for opt-in freebies. Maybe you're looking for done for you workshops or done for you content, like an entire funnel start to finish that you have from the opt-in freebie um, to even a program that you can put in your one-on-one -on -one content packages, done for you um, membership copy and templates, podcast templates and copy, um, a webinar funnel, um, sales page templates, social media, um, newsletter package. And then of course we have our programs. So some, some coaches are already setting themselves up for fall. What do they want to launch? Because we don't want to just what come back from labor day and be labored thinking about what we want to launch. You want to actually plan in your summer, what you want to plan for your fall. Many of you are new coaches. And so you want to think you can plan now, build your list, really get comfortable with, your message that you're saying um, to your community or that you're saying you know, to the people that are on you know, Facebook, like, hey, I'm so excited to launch my business. Or maybe you're even thinking now, wow, I would really love to launch just a non-committal program, like you know, um, our skin detox for the summer because maybe digestive health or hormone health or anti-aging is your niche. Or maybe you've had your own skin issues and you, or maybe you have followed Marie Marlow for so long and you love that she has a skin detox or anti-aging and you want to do an elimination diet with your clients and you want it to be summer specific. We also have a 10 day sugar detox, a 21 day weight loss program. I always say anything between four to 21 days is really simple, non-committal, um, and then it's fun, you know, once July 4th happens to look at like a four day mini cleanse, um, anything that's like five day, four day holiday survival guide, things that are non-committal to say, let's de-barbecue and then to have things that are list builders so that what you set yourself up for of course, not launching in August when most people are on vacation, but then to have a really healthy launch come September, October, optimize on September, October, going into November, taking, of course, break, U.S. Thanksgiving, maybe having a fun little non-committal post-Thanksgiving, like, you know, get the weight off from, you know, from Thanksgiving. And then, as I said, doing this list building and this nurturing a pay it forward, something really beautiful in December, setting yourself up for what? An amazing opportunity, January, February, and then list building and nourishing in March when people are on spring break and it's tax season, taking time before in April to set the stage and then launching after Easter or around Earth Day. Same thing in May, and then boom, here we are at Memorial Day. And that is pretty much a year at a glance. It's exactly what I did with Rachel's Wellness. Um, I, of course, did a number of other different things as far as 30-day programs, joint venture collaboration for four years with gyms, karate studios, cycle 
studios, spas, chiropractors, acupuncturists. I worked a lot locally. I worked a lot online. I launched four times a year, um, had a thriving one-on-one -on -one practice. So when it comes to you asking me questions of, did you do shopping tours paid? Yes. Did I do cooking classes? Yes. Um, I've done almost everything and I really enjoyed it. Um, so please, if you have questions or if you're new, um, you know, oh, and I was just going to show you the membership. See, I get talking and I get so excited. Um, this is our membership right here. This is our shop. If you want to go here and just click, if you want to go, come on, and just click on the shop, you can see everything that is included. Sorry, end of day internet and kids are almost getting out of school. Um, you can go right on the shop and click and it will show you everything that we have. And you can kind of click right to a gateway program or like your next program. Um, so you can see what we have as far as our mega programs, our Eat With Intention, 30 Day Recovery, um, Thyroid Recovery. This is module based, meaning you could take this and do uh, that as a course. This is actually module based too. Um, so it is the six week um, AIP program. So it's a six month hormone. So please, like I said, if you have any questions, reach out to us. Um, we're here to support you building your business in any way that feels right from programs, courses, memberships, a two tier work with me, online courses, offline courses, groups, anything. Um, and it's just been an absolute pleasure to be with you guys. Please let me know if you need to schedule a specific Zoom call um, to have a check, have a look at the programs. And again, my name is Rachel Feldman. So you can see everything here at yourhealthcoachbiz.com. And again, if you want to wrap and learn <laughs> um, with us in the membership, it's just a great place to have an unbelievable community where you can share your win, share insecurities, learn, and also get to know um, Pinterest in its full length. Um, and it's just a really great place anyway. So with that being said, guys, I think I'm tongue-tied for the day. Um, and I look forward to seeing you later. Bye, guys.